Good morning guys and um, welcome back to the Sullivan family. I know this is quite a random start for a Saturday morning. I am sheltering in the shed. Uh, I've actually cleared some space because I got rid of a lot of rubbish and took it to the uh, tip the other day with Toby. But it's still a bit of a tip in here. Still got to sort it out. Anyway, I'm just, right, so why am I in the shed you ask? I'm in the shed because the weather is absolutely horrendous. I was going to go down and do a sea check. It's going to go down and do all that sort of kind of stuff. And then I thought, no, because I need to clear up an argument from last night, don't I? I need to clear up, <laughs> right, whether there's bleeze blocks, breeze blocks or rocks on the bottom of my trampoline, right? I don't very, I very rarely win an argument with Zoe, right? But I'm going to win this one because I swear there are breeze blocks and rocks, right? on the trampoline okay but before i go and check the bottom of the trampoline can i just say guys please subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell for notifications so you never miss any notifications on when our videos come up and our community posts we would love to hit 19,000. we're getting so close to 19,000, and then on to 20 would be absolutely amazing so if you haven't already please uh go on and subscribe to our channel and tell all your friends about us tell all your friends about us as well let's see if we can build our subscriber count up be absolutely amazing right so yes so i'm going to clear this up once and for all in a minute obviously we have got swimming this morning uh it's the last one before the easter holidays which is great because we could all do with a break of getting up and flying out the door on a on a saturday morning um the kids like zoe said in the vlog last night the kids are starting to get really tired because obviously easter's coming up uh it'd be easter next week uh easter holes which, which everybody's looking forward to and granny and granddad are coming up so there's going to be some nice family time family moments coming up i'm a little bit uh, miffed about the weather i had lots of things in my head that i was going to do today uh but we still might get out for a walk later i'm, I'm going to try because joseph hasn't been out for a couple of days properly um he hasn't been in the best of spirits shall we say the last couple of days so trying to get him out the door and do stuff um normally you can kind of with joseph if you give him a heads up like in the morning and say right after lunch we're going to go out for a walk and you tell him like just remember what i said after lunch we're going to go out for a walk and normally he's like right yeah okay yeah processed we're going to go for a walk but last couple of days he's just been um it's it's not been working so i've just been like right okay so he's just like yesterday he stayed at home didn't come out to the sweet shop with us he just stayed at home with his brothers and sisters um so i'll try and get him out for a bit of fresh air today if we can but again he doesn't like the cold he doesn't like the wet so see if the weather clears up later would be amazing um because i could do it a walk last one we went, went last walk, walk we went on was the beach which was a couple of days ago um i love getting out in the fresh air well you know that anyway so um right before zoe starts hanging out the window and shouting at me that the kids need to get dressed so we can go to swimming i'm gonna clear up this little conundrum uh, do I have rocks or do I have breeze blocks? I have a combination, honestly. Let's check it out. Breeze block. Breeze block. Big rock. Breeze block. Breeze block. Breeze block. See? 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 <laughs> I told you. Breeze blocks, right? They've, they've, there were breeze blocks kicking around all the sides. Obviously, we only moved in in August, so whoever was, whoever was in renting this house before, before, before us had a load of breeze blocks put down the side of the deck in but um since they've redone the fencing you can see it all so i just use those and there's a couple of breeze blocks in the side of the fence over here i know it's a random way to start a video i do honestly but i just <laughs> i don't really i very rarely get one up on zoe and i think i have this time tell me what you think in the comments and if they're not breeze blocks i don't know what are breeze blocks okay i know what breeze blocks are they're breeze blocks they're made of concrete right that's what breeze blocks are. So anyway, 
I'm going to go inside now and I'm going to get everybody ready to go and we are going to head off to swimming. Everybody get out of the car. Let's get the stuff. Hang on two sec. Can I open the boot? Can I get off Come on, jump, 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 jump. Eric, can I have my open back down? You can do the rest of this. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Can you use out? Get your bags, alright? Get your bags a second. Okay, Girls, get your bags. Oh, I've got my coffee. Hey, will you hold that for me a sec? Daddy, Daddy. Hold that for me? Maybe. I'm speaking. Okay, that's right. I'm not shot until we get out. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Has everybody got their bags? Uh, Erin? Yeah. Two bags. Oh, yeah. Ah! You got a little sherry. Here you go. Daddy, you got your coffee. You got everything you need? Yeah. It's a camera. Hold on, two seconds. Daddy, you're coughing. The noise! Wait, 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 wait. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. It's just stopped raining. It's been raining. It was really windy last night. And pretty rainy. I don't know where spring went. But I'd really like it if it could come back now, please. Um, anyway, Ben's off swimming with the little ones. Well, he's not swimming, but the little ones are swimming. It's the last week of Saturday morning swimming um, for a couple of weeks because obviously we are coming up to the Easter holidays. Um, they break up on Thursday. I think I said that in yesterday's vlog. You'd think I was excited or something because I keep mentioning it like all the time. Um, so my plan for the weekend obviously we've got the litter pick tomorrow afternoon i think that's when we're doing it um but i need to sort out in here um it needs a tidy and a clean and the other thing that i need to do is i need to sort toby's wardrobe out so i've been meaning to do it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks um he some of his clothes are too small um some of the stuff needs to put in away and I just need to have a bit of a sort through. So I'm going to pull his drawers out of his wardrobe and I am going to have a bit of a clean in there as well. And I'm pretty sure there is also some toys in there, uh, which probably need sorting out as well. So that is my plan for this weekend. I'm going to do some of it today. I'll probably do some of it tomorrow morning. Um, I think there's probably some beds that need changing somewhere along the line as well, but I can't off the top of my head think which ones I've just done and which ones need doing. I'll have a think. Um, yesterday, I just was not with it at all yesterday. I felt really weird yesterday. I've woken up this morning with a bit of an earache and I feel a bit sinusy, so I wonder if I've been 
maybe coming down with something which is maybe why i felt so spaced out they had a nerf bullet fight gun fight last night so there's there's literally nerf bullets everywhere so anyway yes that is my plan for today is to have a bit of a sort out in here um this there's just still this room obviously not all the rooms actually i don't think we've finished anything properly since moving in but that's what moving house is like isn't it i mean we've been here we will have been here a year in august july august august beginning of august um so is that nine months ten months may june july august yeah, nine months i don't know i can't my brain's just not calculating um December, January, February, March, yeah, seven, yeah, seven months we've been here. Um, and I think the thing is when you move house is you kind of, I know we do anyway, um, you get everything that you need sorting, sort all the day-to-day -day stuff, all those sorts of things. You get all of that sort of stuff sorted, unpacked, all of that sort of thing within the first month two months of being there and then you know normal life resumes and you don't get time to do all those other little things so everything else just gets done as and when you can because you know you can take a few weeks while you're moving to put everything else on hold but you can't put everything on hold forever you know you've got to live alongside and obviously we had you know with Christmas winter all that sort of stuff so um yeah we're still we're still sort of sorting and that's that's fine that's I used to give myself a hard time about these things and think that you know I wasn't doing it well enough or you know I wasn't trying hard enough or you know everybody else would have had it sorted but there's I've come to a lot of realizations and I still all the time and kind of come into many more realizations all the time that um you know that's not how it is at all you put these pressures on yourself quite a lot of the time um, through what you see on social media, what you see on, you know, other people doing what you think other people are doing. Um, you put all these pressures on yourself to think that you must be doing that as well. And I think the other added thing for us is I do talk about things on social media, which gives people some people um room to criticize and i don't often take it on board um but you do sometimes and that kind of almost makes you think well maybe that is me then you know but it's of course it's not so you know those are the things that get you when you're feeling vulnerable and that could happen in any kind of walk of life any kind of even if you weren't on social media I remember you know before we did social media I would always I used to overcompensate with the children um obviously we had all the older ones were small at the time and um I used to overcompensate all the time because we had obviously seven seven children at the time and I used to make sure that they were all immaculate everything all the time well behaved well mannered not that those things aren't important because they are important and we still do do that but what i mean is i would overcompensate so that people because people have some people or would automatically have a judgment of us being that we're a big family and that used to for some reason that used to i used to feel that i had to change people's minds and and um make them realise that we weren't like that. But then I soon, you know, over the years, I've realised that I don't have to change people's minds at all. People that know us know what we're like. We know the values that we instil in our children and what is important to us and what is important for us to pass on to our children and how we want them to grow up, you know, surrounded by um, what we think are important values, you know, manners, um respect all those sorts of things but it doesn't I don't do it because I want other people to think 
good of us. Do you know what I mean? I used to, I used to feel that I had to not impress people, but validate myself in some ways. And, you know, over the years, I'm like, I don't, the only reason I need to do to instill all the good values and things in my children is so that they become good people. That's all because that's what we want. It's not for, well, it would be for other people's benefit in the long run because, you know, good people, they are good people. They, they, you know, the older ones have jobs. They're polite. They're well-mannered. They're respectful. They're nice people to be around. Um, and that's what's important. I mean, we had all the little ones school reports um, last week. And yes, it's important, you know, that they're doing okay, reading, writing, all those sorts of things. But what is really important to me is the bits where they say, you know, this child is a pleasure to have in the class and this child is a really good friend. And, you know, it's those sorts of things that, you know, they're well mannered and they're respectful. And those are the sorts of things that are important. I don't really know how we got into this conversation, but I think I've just got lots of things in my mind at the moment about different things, about um, just lots of things going around in my head at the moment. I've spent so many years kind of not um, respecting my own feelings and, and my own standing in life. And I'm slowly getting there. Do you know what I mean? I've always put myself below every, everybody else, below other people. And I'm I'm not in any way, shape or form saying I'm better than anybody else. But what I mean is by that is that I I don't always respect my own my own feelings does that make sense so I'll often con consider I mean as a parent you have to consider it you know your children and all that and I always put them first bef before anything else but you know lately I've had a lot of thoughts on um how just silly things like just just not accepting who I am um it's taken me a long time to get to where I am to know who I am and that's I still don't think I'm quite there if I'm honest I still don't think I'm quite there I look at other people other women especially and I mean maybe they haven't got it all together but they make it look like they have and I kind of I still look at people thinking oh, you know I really I don't have it all together I don't um I still am not confident in the way that I look or you know confident in my body shape and all those sorts of things although I'm getting better and that is what I'm working really, really hard on at the moment um, is accepting me for me. And it's not all that easy. You have good days and bad days. You know, sometimes I feel great. Other times I just feel like right down there. And then that's when the vulnerability kicks in. And that can make you feel worse. But especially when people say stuff. But um, yeah, I've just got lots of things going on in my head at the moment. Um nothing you know negative I just want to start maybe spending a little bit more time on myself um and I don't I don't mean going off here there and everywhere because you know I love spending time at home with my children I just mean like taking the time to do my hair in the morning instead of just leaving it um you know like having my contact lens trial because I want to not wear my glasses, little tiny things like that. Um, just tiny, tiny things, just kind of com building my own confidence up a little bit more, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to go into the wardrobe now because I've been sat here for 10 minutes talking and I really need to start doing something before they come home from swimming.
Yeah, remember we can switch. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I like this. Come here. Can I just do my switch? Oh, I can't get it. Do you know my phone in? I can't get it. How's that happening? Oh, is that jammed? Oh, it's jammed in there. Okay, got it. Right, two seconds. Yeah, do, you, do you know my phone in? Right, hang on. Are you used to uh, strapped in yet? No. Are well, you stopped in? I know, I know that I had two things to stop in. Okay, you good? Middle. You good? One foot is two. Are you in? Yeah. Okay, one make sure it's nice and tight. One foot is two, I'm going to be seven. Are you? Uh, no. Yeah, I am. Here goes go. six. Hello, am I Are one you one stopped in? Yeah. Alright, good. Is it all tight? Yeah. Are you strapped in? Yeah. Am I strapped in? No, not. I'm strapped in. Did everyone have a good time swimming? Yeah. yeah. Right, we're in, guys. So swimming is done. The twins, just turn that down for a second. Uh, so the twins were swimming in the very deep end today. Even yet, that's weren't you? The very deep end of the swimming pool. So they're doing. Can you turn that down for a second, please? Can you turn that down for a second? Thank you. So the twins, like I said, we're in the we're in the deep end. Weren't you? Mm -hmm. Was that fun? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I was watching them <laughs> down the deep end. Did you find any sunken ships or treasure? No. Because it's really deep down that end, isn't it? Yeah. No divers or anything. No. Does nobody feel like talking this morning? No. Nope. Does nobody feel like talking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agnes, you had a good time as well, didn't you? Yeah. You were you were swimming with your noodles, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's one word answers today. One word answers. Normally, yeah. normally you can't stop them from talking, but no, now but we're, we're having one word answers. The ones before my class done the horse swim, but I, I tied the noodle up. Oh yeah, you tied the noodle into a knot, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know how to do that. I know how to tie the noodle into a knot. Well, I, I didn't know how to swim like it because I, I didn't do it before. Awesome. Right, anyway, guys, that's swimming done. Uh, we're going to head home now uh, and make a couple of decisions for what we're going to do today. Make a gauge on the weather and I really want to go out for a walk. I want to go out for a walk today. I want to go and get some fresh air. But um, we'll find a air. weather window. Are we going to go home then? Yeah, yeah we've already got some fresh air. Yeah. Not enough fresh air. That's only a little bit of fresh air. Not enough. Mm -hmm. We need more. Yeah. We need more. Yeah, we need well, you're coming anyway. Cause you're not 18 yet are you hey eh? so you can come for a walk <laughs> right guys we'll see you back at home i have light pages one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm going to do it in this place. i have eight i have nine i might have the most or I could have one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do nine very quickly. I've got eleven. I got ten. Mm -hmm. I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. Right. Can you top, you top up the um, windscreen wash a minute? I'm just going to check the oil. Thank you, oil then. Whoa! Oh, Jojo, yeah. Are you hanging? Oil. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I do need to check. Oh my god, it is in. What's in the boy? I'm not This one so light. It's hot. Don't touch like don't touch that. Is it hot? It's really hot. Yes, it could burn you. This is hot. That's plastic. But where I have to pour it, I've got to pour it in this corner. This one. Okay. Okay. 
open. Here we go. Lift it up. It's a bit heavy. Can we help lift it up? No. Are your hands tired? Are your hands getting tired? So are your hands getting tired? No. Have you, is this all topped up now? Yeah, that's what I've got it. Got it. Check the oil. Quick oil check. Oh, it's actually still quite warm. I should check it when it's cold, maybe. Really. Can we drop then, Toby? Is that, is that all shut? That's shut. We shouldn't just double shut. Right, close it up. Ready, Joseph? I'm ready. Can I go? Yeah. And then it closes. Do you want to shut your hand? Yeah, fine. We're going back inside. You alright? Yeah. Job well done. Been meaning to do that for ages. So we've got both cars checked, haven't we, Toby? Yeah. Yeah, so we've topped up the windscreen wash. We've topped up the uh, coolant. That's all done. We've been meaning to do that for ages. And mm -hmm. um, we've been teaching Joseph what to do as well. So we're going to teach Joseph now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah, so that's Noah taught. Your taught. Toby comes out, goes out quite often and tops up our windscreen wash and stuff. And you check yeah. you check our car over, don't you? Mm -hmm. So we're going to te we're teaching Joseph next. But that's all done now. Uh, we just need some oil, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we need some oil for... Well, for Mummy's car, car and my car, I'll have to I'll have to check in the shed. I might have some oil. Well, that'd be cool. So, thanks very much, Toby. Thanks for your help. Right, guys, we are going to uh, pause it there for lunch, and then I think we've convinced Joseph to come out for a walk today, uh, and hopefully get down the woods today. That's what I want to do. So, cool. Lunch time. Yeah. We're down the woods, guys. We got out. But the heavens opened. The heavens opened. I think it's eased off for now. Are you all right, Leah? Yeah. Are you okay? So they're all playing a game at the moment. Um, oh, so nice to get out. Go down the stairs. So nice. So nice to get down the wood, even if it is raining. And I convinced Joseph to come out. Even though the weather's not amazing, I convinced him to come out because he needed some fresh air. He needed some time in the woods. He needed some. Uh, some nature yeah, needed a bit of this get away from xbox get away from all that and come down and just spend half an hour down here i've got baby with us as well she's playing bless her when we're doing stuff you can't get us uh, i'm granddad you said i was granddad am i granddad Is this my walking stick? Yeah, you have a walking stick. Guys, why don't I be the extra, like, grand, like, or granny? Or am I Slenderina? I want to be Slenderina. Or, do you want to be Slenderina? No, I, what am I? I, I don't even know what I'm playing anymore. Guys, remember, when you put I'm Slenderina in that pot, then I appear. Right, is anybody going to move? Because we're going to be here all day. Daddy. Joseph, you can stand up with Daddy. 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 Daddy.
there he is! What do I need to do? <laughs> what do I need to do? Because I don't have the things fixed. Just pick a stick. Uh, creepy granddad. Oh. Creepy granddad. <laughs> creepy granddad. Creepy granddad. Creepy. <laughs> Hang on, you slot. Wait for us. Wait for us. Yes. It does. There's lots of bases down here. That's the base we went in the other day, isn't it? Well, it's been lovely down the woods, guys. Just what the doctor ordered. I know I say it every time, but it is just what the doctor ordered. Are you all right? They found a little base, mm -hmm. haven't they? Yeah. Hang on, I'll, I'll come up and show you. What have you found? A Sasquatch. A Sasquatch nest? Yeah. Is somebody living in here? Yeah. Wow, that's so cool, isn't it? Can we stay in here? No, we've got to go home. Come on. Okay. Let's go home and have a cup of coffee and stuff. Yeah? I want to go You can have some sweeties. For, for running lots of energy off, okay? Have you had a nice time down the woods? Yeah. I love coming down the woods. Daddy's Come on, let's go. Right, and on that note, we're going home. Yay. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, I've been going through Toby's drawers, which then made me go through Noah's drawers. Oh, sorry, because do you remember a little while back I was looking for the 11 to 12 stuff and I realised it's still in Noah's drawer. That's why I didn't have it. Obviously, Noah and Toby are different in the things that they like, but um, there's also things in there that I could use for Toby. But I've also been through Noah's drawers and found stuff that's too big for Toby anyway, that Noah doesn't wear. Um... So I've kind of, I've, I've just made this for myself. Th this is what I've made for myself now. This pile of stuff that now needs sorting out. Um, I also found quite a lot of age 10 stuff in Toby's drawers, which is what I was trying to get rid of because he will wear the same thing over and over and over because it's comfortable and he likes wearing things that are comfortable. Um, but equally, because he wears the same thing all the time they start to get you know quite worn um but also they're starting to get too small so i'm taking it before he can um keep on wearing it because it's just getting too small for him bless him so i've replaced lots of shorts he's still got shorts that he likes in there as well um and i've put more shorts that he says he'll like in there um, he's still quite small, so although he's 11, he's, he's still 10 to 11, is still quite a good fit for him. Um, but I have given him some 11 to 12 sort of, um, almost like football shorts, you know, the Adidas kind of shorts, which he says he likes. But he quite likes the jersey kind of shorts, but like I said, they are getting too small for him. 
I'm trying to get him to change the things that he... I don't want to change the things that he likes. I don't mean it in that sense. I mean it in the sense of um, they're getting too small and I need to take them away. Because he'd just keep wearing them until um, until he couldn't get them on anymore. So anyway, um, I think the only thing he really needs is maybe a couple of T-shirts. Although I did find some... Um, Noah had a load of Adidas T-shirts. Which he doesn't... He hasn't worn. Um, so I've put them in the wardrobe for Toby. And I've just been through all his socks and... We remember the sock debate, right? So Toby's got a load of new socks. So I'd already been through all the socks. Um, but yeah, there's some stuff that he's grown out of. T-shirts and stuff that he's grown out of. Um, so I've taken all that out and put some new ones in. But I think the only thing he really needs, he doesn't really wear long pyjamas. He likes his short pyjamas. But again, they're getting too small for him because they're age 10. So I need to get him some more short pyjamas. And I think, I think that's it maybe some t-shirts um but i think he's all right for everything else he's had new socks new socks um i think for now we're all right he might need some new school shorts because his are too small but he's wearing trousers at the moment so we'll wait and see if he wants shorts i'll get him some new school shorts um when the weather gets a bit warmer the weird thing is he doesn't wear trousers at home but he will wear his trousers at school it's weird um, so yeah, I think I'll have to get him some more school shorts. Uh, so yeah, it's quite productive, but now I've got to go and sort out this whole pile that I've created. <sighs> okay, so Toby's drawers are finished. Toby's wardrobe is finished. So, I don't know what's going on with this bit of hair. I'll show you what we've done. So Toby's got this built-in wardrobe and he's got his drawers at the bottom. Which are now nice and neat and tidy. Socks. Oops. Shorts. Joggers. Jammers. More jammers. And like a ton of jumpers that he hardly ever wears. But he's got lots of jumpers. And t-shirts. He's got some long sleeve tops but he never wears them. So we've got a whole load of new t-shirts, uniform, all nice and neat and tidy. Iron in. We just use the top of Toby's wardrobe to put bags in as well. So that is all done. Now I'm just going to pack it all up. I've got some things that I'm waiting for to come out of the wash. And then I've got to tidy the rest of this room. But I don't think I'm going to do it all today because I'm nearly bored already. So this is the problem with cleaning is that I can only do it for a short amount of time because then I get like really bored. <laughs> I like I don't mind cleaning and I like things to be clean, but I also have to do it in short bursts because like like an hour or, or I don't mind sorting things. I like sorting things but when it comes to like cleaning. Yeah, I do like an hour, maybe two hours, and then I've had enough. And I want to move on to something else. But, you know, we're all different. So I'm going to do a little bit more sorting in here. And then I'm going to call it a day and come back and finish it off tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's that time of day. It's time to finish the vlog. So, um... It's been quite a productive day today. It was lovely to get out for a walk today. And we managed to settle the argument on breeze blocks and rocks, didn't we? Yeah, so there's definitely definitely some breeze blocks out there. Definitely. <laughs> you still not see any breeze blocks? No. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Uh, like I said, it's been a good day today. It's been really, really good. You've got loads of stuff done as well, haven't you? Yeah. Which is really good. Uh, very productive. Tomorrow afternoon is going to be all about the um, the challenge, the charity challenge. So we're going to go do some litter picking tomorrow afternoon. So that'll be that'll be March's challenge, and then after that we will be into April's challenge. So that'll be the next thing. I know the the girls are so excited about um, about camping in the garden. They really want to do that. So that's one of the things that we're going to keep back in the bank for sure. Is camping in the garden. Summer holidays. Yeah. Summer holidays. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and, we're, and we're going to be doing a live very soon. So keep an eye out on the community feed. We're going to put um, a post on the community feed asking you for questions. Because what we'll do is we'll we'll have questions before the live, um, and we'll answer them live on uh, live <laughs> live. Like, if you get what like. I mean. Do you know what I mean? Right. Anyway, so that's it for today, guys. Sunday tomorrow. So another another vlog coming up tomorrow. But for now, please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications and drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, the channel, the charity homepage, and Leopard Fox Designs. And we are going to be putting together some new merch soon. We're finally... Finally, Zoe and I have um, decided, because we've had the old t-shirt, the, the Sullivan family, but we wanted to update it, and we finally decided what we like. Haven't we? I think. We think. So we're going to knock it, or I say we, Zoe's going to knock the t-shirt up, uh, and we're going to be selling t-shirts, hoodies, and stuff like that, um, with the Sullivan family merch on it. Uh, and, but that's, but that's as soon as we've got that up and running, that'll be another community post, we'll get that out. And, um, I'm sorry, I was holding my yawning. You're holding it in. Holding it in Too late. Anyway, we'll finish there. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting us. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.